I'm Rachel Herman, and I'm the founder and executive director of Cosmic. I'm Karen Redick Finch, the Deputy Director of Programs and Strategy. I started to think about other New Yorkers who have pets, who love them, who benefit from them, but who are just facing struggles in life. I did some research. I could not identify any other organization that was really providing the services that I had in mind, which were sort of in-home ongoing physical care to help eliminate obstacles that vulnerable New Yorkers were facing. My name is Louis Sterling. My dog's name is F. Lucius. Now we are like a family. He and I. I cannot be without him, and he cannot be without me. We focus on the entire family. We help the pet guardian as well as the pet, and that relationship is intertwined. So if you're helping one, you're always helping the other. One of our most important foundational principles is this preservation and protection of the human-animal bond. That's the relationship between humans and animals. It's mutually beneficial. Research has found a lot of psychological as well as physical benefits of this relationship. Some of the benefits are decreased feelings of loneliness, decreased feelings of depression, increased self-esteem, increased feelings of control over one's life. And this is all coming from having that pet and having that relationship and taking care of something. And then some of the physical benefits are really impressive. Just petting an animal can lower your blood pressure, cortisol, which is a stress hormone, and then a very important finding was that it increases the release of oxytocin, which a lot of people think of as the attachment hormone. It makes sense when you think about it at the time of your pet, how you feel. It's not just anecdotal, it is actually proven now scientifically. Because I'm a retired person, I live alone, I have a lot of health issues. So having Lucio has been a very important thing in my life. I learned a lot from him, how much he cared for me. Our core program here at PAWS is what we call our house call program. That is where our volunteers visit our clients in their homes and provide ongoing physical assistance. That most often comes in the form of dog walking, help with the litter box, even something as simple as putting out food and water can be a challenge for our clients who are facing mobility issues. We also have our veterinary care program. We both help with the transport of animals, getting pets to and from the vet, which can be a huge obstacle for our clients who many of them are homebound or facing mobility issues, and paying for the visits as well. We work with amazing partners who give us discounts for their services, and that really helps to stretch every dollar and have the biggest impact we can. We also have our pet pantry and we donate pet food and supplies to our clients. We're really looking to relieve the financial burden our clients are facing in feeding their animals and also making sure that the pets are getting the nutrition that they need to live their healthiest life. We also have our foster and emergency care program. When a client is facing a medical crisis, let's say they're hospitalized, we will make sure that a pet is taken care of. We will put their pet into a foster home with a vetted volunteer. We will make sure there is food, there are supplies. What we were finding is they often don't have somebody to take care of their pet when they have to go into the hospital. And what that often means is they're delaying care. So when they are in the hospital, they can feel calm and they don't have to worry about what's going on with my pet. We have what we call a referral network. You know, if somebody comes to us and we can't provide a service directly, we will do everything we can to refer them to another service within the community, ensuring that our clients and their pets have as much support as they need to live together for as long as possible. We try and take this comprehensive approach to eliminating all of the different obstacles our clients can face in caring for their pets every day. And I took him over for a checkup and everything was fine with him and I didn't have to pay a penny. You know, they have a certain amount of money allocated for each person so they could use it to maybe regular visit. So he has a clean bill of health. It's been over a decade and I'm really proud of the amazing work that we've been able to accomplish thanks to an incredible community of volunteers, staff, and our supporters. Up till now, we've helped almost 1,500 families stay together in 
various ways. Volunteers do everything for cause. They are really the reason we exist. We wouldn't be able to provide our services without volunteers. So they are the ones that are going into clients' homes regularly and helping with the physical pet care, delivering pet food, fostering, transporting pets to the vet. Our volunteers are fabulous and very committed and the backbone of our organization, really. Becoming a dog owner and then feeling how attached I was with my dog, it hits very deep to me. Anybody that is in a situation where they have to make a decision, is it strikes me right to the heart. So I want to do anything that I can to kind of prevent that from happening. There are so many amazing ways that you can support us. We are a nonprofit organization. Every single dollar makes a difference. We are a small organization with really ambitious goals. And while we are doing such great work for our community. There are so many more people and pets who need our help here in New York City, and we're asking for you to consider making a gift. Every dollar you give will go directly toward helping our clients keep their pets. We would appreciate it so much.